Cyberpunk 2077 removed Xander entirely from the game. Project players and eliminated binary agenda options in order to make the game more inclusive. Oh yes. And I was I was thinking that they go that they're doing it to avoid the SAW mob. But once they heard of this more inclusive, we all know what inclusive really means. It means more it means of course SAW's pandering. There's two types of inclusive. There's a, um, inclusive resorts, and of course, there's the SAW the punch world of inclusive, which is basically um, inclusive for all positive response to CZ projects upcoming in Cyberpunk 2077. Has enjoyed with Keanu Reeves being in a uh, main character. Well, you know, instead of making your own character, if we could just play as Keanu Reeves, that would, that would be a much better game, you know. Hey, and it's Betrayal of Zender. While well, it was initially designed to be by, by male or uh, female, but some critics, of course, cried and whined, and of course, saw the pro Project CD Red bended the knee to, of course, the SAW, because, you know, one of the SAWs is transphobic, blah, blah, blah. Um, and it ended the view of Metro Senior concept artist Mate Zonkers at the studio. It's trying to make a game that's really inclusive. <laughs> when I was thinking, I was like, so the SCWs don't have to talk about gender, so you know, let's just remove gender or to get terror, but this is, they're, they're talking about inclusive. Whenever you say inclusive, it means the bending the knee. The bending the knee. Even though the actual creator of the original Cyberpunk didn't probably, probably say, no, no, this, the original Cyberpunk game, Cyberpunk 2019 or whatever it's called, he, he was basically talking about how bad inclusiveness and stuff is, and how the game was kind of awarded like 1984. To governments, it was kind of like 1984, based on feedback of business or review and made changes to how create what character creates it will work. You don't choose your gender anymore. You don't choose. I want to be male or female character. Now you choose a body type. It's, it is actually in like some other game where you choose a body type because we want to you feel. No, it's choose body type. For With what I don't care about. Yes, fine with that, heck. Do that. With lots of extra tins, bones, and tattoos, and hairstyles. So you want people freedom, but you can't... You, you, what freedom? You can't sue, you can't be male or female? Very attentive and very diverse. We all know what diverse means. It means, um, you know, um... You know, diverse really means, um... Actually, that's for like um, uh, that's for the amount of people you can play as in the game. Um, it's just like trans representation. I I feel if they if they remove gender dust to piss, piss off the SD abuse, I will probably support them. It said, you know what? Screw you, screw you, SAWs. We, we we you know what? You can have no gender, so we don't have to talk about um, what gender your characters are gonna be. Cause some movie some games do that where it's just a body type and. You play out to buy, and you choose a female, male. It's that new of some Japanese games, but we get everybody a comfortable playing. And of course, we have to be SAWs. We have to be quiet SAWs. We have to be. We have to have rights for every single minority on the face of the planet. You no, know, in terms of humanity and technology, you are sailed. But Zonkers emphasized the CD project that's really putting effort into oh, ooh, because of inclusive. Uh, Immerse yourselves in the world deeply as possible. You usually pick one class to play as that person. You can combine everything they said. And, and the game, they're, they're talking about this SDW nonsense. Okay, so Cyberpunk 2077, we thought was going to be this non woke game, this anti woke game. But of course, as game developers continue to um, bend the knee to these S crying SDWs, well, And, like the Argo, oh, yeah, no, it makes sense, some games do that, but they're not just doing it, they're just doing it to make it more inclusive, which we all know is a SDW punchline, it's a SDW crying punchline, um, and eliminating Zender, that's so we can be more inclusive. It's an SDW punchline, this is a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a Cyberpunk 2077. I think a lot of people are mad at them now.
because you know they bended the knee to the SJWs and stuff. Um, I won't be surprised if this game still sells because the uh, mainstream audience does not cover this stuff. The mainstream audience. That's the reason why Captain Marvel was still a success in Ocean's Eight because the mainstream does not really care about wokeness. They care about they'll, they'll buy any crappy product they they come out with and. That would be basically how it is. Just look at how EA's game still commands a sell despite controversy. FIFA's, Madden's, Battlefront 2, all examples of EA games that still sell despite people hating them. Um, because the mainstream audience does not care about these controversies. They still, they sold worse than expectations, but Fallout 76 still mass sell 4 million copies. Battlefront 2 still mass sell 7 million copies. It was still not really a, um, it still sold less than the first last entries, but it still wasn't enough. They still made money off of these games. That's the thing. They still made money. And I won't be surprised if this game still sold like 5 million copies. Despite the uh, outcry. And this will probably, this will probably fade away because nobody will really care. People will just get around to play a game. Play a game. And the, and the people won't really care about this in general. Um, but they are banging the need to the SAWs again. Goodbye.